Good morning. My name is Chin and I do science. Let's talk about why I'm here. But before I go, I want to tell you a story. It's the year of 1994. A young scientist was testing his theory that we can use our immune system to kill cancers. So he injected the antibodies into mice with tumors. And the results were stunning. All the mice given the antibodies became cancer free. He shared the data with his colleagues, but no one believed him. At that time, immunology was not a particularly hard field. He was being told, you're just foolish. This is never gonna work. 25 years later, that young scientist just got the Nobel Prize for his discovery. In 2018, the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine is awarded to James Allison and Tatsuko Honjo for their discovery of CTLA-4 and BD-1, BDL-1 immune checkpoints. But in my talk, I only explain the BD-1, BDL-1 immune checkpoints because that's our focus in BG. And this is the reason why today I'm gonna talk with you about how our scientists in BGs are taking advantage of this signaling pathway to kill cancers. But first, let's talk about BD1 and BD1 and why should we care about these two signaling proteins. You know, our immune system protects our body from outside invaders like bacteria or viruses. But it also eliminates abnormal cells like cancer cells. And among immune system, our T cells, a type of immune cells, plays a critical role, like soldiers who finds and destroys the rebels. But cancer cells, they are very cl clever. They created a suppressor signal, which is pd one that if they successfully collect, connect with our T cells, our natural defense will be weaker. So the basic idea here is that if we can create a blocker that prevents this kind of interaction between cancer cells and T cells, our body would do a better job at killing cancers. So let's go to a more scientific figure here. You can see on the left side, um, you know, if cancer cells successfully connect to our T cells through the BD1, BD1 inhibitors, our T cell will be inactivated and therefore not going to be able to kill the tumors. However, if we can create an inhibitor that prevent this kind of interaction, our T cell will be stronger and therefore do a better job at killing cancers. Today, many BD1 in BD1 inhibitors come into the market in the form of antibodies. And here is the list of the whole you know, antibody treatment in the US. Antibodies are the guardians of our immune system and they turn out to be decently effective at activating our cells. However, antibodies have many downsides that include high cost, poor tumor penetration, and can cause deadly side effects. Let's talk about the first reason. Antibodies are very complicated to produce and maintain. And this is a reason why antibodies is very expensive and sometimes unaffordable to many patients. Imagine if you have cancer, and even if you have insurance, you, on average, you have to pay $150,000 per year for antibody treatment. Crazy, right? But in addition to being expensive, antibodies also have a difficult time effectively entering the tumor size. Imagine if the tumor is a castle and antibodies are just so huge that it couldn't even enter the gate. And finally, antibodies also cause a higher level of side effect and may cause result in death. So now we know the conventional medical treatment is, you know, has many downsides that we read from killing cancer completely. This is the reason why our team in BG, under the guidance of Professor Si Hong Tang, is investigating a new type of medicines that can replace 
or supplements, the antibody treatment. We are talking about peptides. So what are peptides? Peptides are tiny and durable proteins produced by our bodies that has many advantages compared to antibody treatment. And the first advantage is peptides have a high tumor penetrations because of their small size. You know, peptides have a very small size and they easily penetrate into the tumor size and target them accurately, unlike antibodies. And peptides also less harmful to our normal cells because they can be removed from our body easily. And finally, peptides are very, you know, simple, much simpler than antibodies. And peptides treatment would significantly, you know, have a lower cost than antibody treatment and would be a more affordable option for patients with cancers. So how do we in BG discover these amazing peptides? In our lab, we employ a novel technique that called fake displays. Invented by these amazing scientists, Dr. Arnold, Dr. Smith, and Dr. Winter, who just got the Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 2018. So what are fake displays? Fakes are viruses that infect and kill the bacteria. And this is an image of a fake. Ugly, right? But they play an important role in helping our scientists to find the right peptide candidate that target the protein we want. So what we do here is we attack the peptides into the tail of the fake. Or in another word, we are putting different hooks into the fake tails. In a more scientific term, we are creating a fake library. So the basic idea is that we're going to use the fake library or a bucket for a baptized with a right structures. And with fake displays, we will be able to select the cat baptized candidate, which are the bait, to get the fish, which is the BDL1 protein I talked about before. In the past, this couldn't be done, but now we have the ability to find the peptide candidate that block the interaction between cancer cells and T cells, therefore make our immune system stronger and kill cancers better. The effort to find anti-tumor peptides through phase displays is one of the major research we are doing in Dr. Si Hong Tang lab in the chemistry department. And even though our research is still in progress and no scientist in the world has a full picture of the peptide therapy like the young scientists I told you before, we are optimistic that peptide therapy or small molecule bd one inhibitors will enable us all free from cancer one day. And that's how our BGSU scientists are empowering our immune system to kill cancer and utilize science for the public good. Thank you.